Hello, hello, it's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to share some cards and some guidance for this whole week ahead. That's from today, the 17th of August, Monday, through to Sunday, the 23rd of August. So I trust this uh, video finds you well and that you're having a good uh, week or weekend, if you're still in the weekend. Um, extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. So um, I just want to recap quickly on last week last week's video so the theme for last week was the sacred haven which is um, about stopping counting our blessings practicing gratitude and appreciation for the things that we do appreciate and are grateful for in our life so how did that play out for you last week I know for me um, I came back from my camping trip and um, was feeling really calm I don't know if you remember me saying my, I think it was in my support uh, the reconnection videos I did on Facebook <laughs> um, that the previous time we went camping it was very jarring for me so it felt like um, I was very busy till I went camping then I stopped wound down stopped and then got straight back into work and I was just flat out and it was very jarring and almost felt like I hadn't actually been away whereas this last time when I went away last week or the week before <laughs> um, it felt, I, I, I held the intention of it being a smoother transition and uh, it certainly has worked. So really pleased about that. And for me, practicing that gratitude and appreciation, it's important for me to do every day. I don't want to take anyone in my life that I appreciate or that I care for for granted. And I don't want to take any good fortune or success or good feeling thing that happens in my life too. I don't want to take that for granted either. So instead of doing that and I was in a previous relationship years ago where I'm I felt like I was taken for granted so I know what it feels like to be taken for granted and I feel like it's important for me to practice that gratitude so how did it play out for you last week let me know in the comments if you want to so if you're new to watching welcome what I'm going to be doing today is using my combined speed of light oracle cards with my animal kingdom oracle cards and I'll be using this deck of 110 cards to look for the best card for every day this week starting Monday the 17th of August that's today for me I'm coming to you um, on Monday the 17th and I'm going to pull a card for every day this week plus one card for the theme for this week ahead um, I'm not doing personal requests for guidance here this is general guidance for everyone so I trust you've been led here for a reason and I trust that something shared will be helpful and supportive for you. So please, as always, take on board what feels right, what resonates, what fits into your life easily at this time and let the rest go. So if it doesn't make sense, if it doesn't resonate with you, if any parts don't, then it doesn't matter. Just let it go. I would be very surprised if everything I shared with you today made 100% uh, sense for you. Um, maybe 50% would be great if half of it made sense and fit into your life then fabulous um, if a bit less then it's okay if a bit more then that's brilliant but um, I trust that uh, it will be what it needs to be and I do trust you've been led here for a reason so um, just think of this as a guide only and um, I'm going to lay out the cards now Okay, it's a little glary, so sorry about the shadows and the glare, but let's see. Um, so I'm shuffling the deck now. Oops! I'm shuffling the deck and I'm holding the intention to find the best cards. Actually, let me unpin my dates. Because <laughs> as you might know, I get the dates all sort of mixed up, so I need to read it. So I'm looking for the best cards for the majority of us for Monday the 17th of August, Tuesday the 18th, Wednesday the 19th, Thursday the 20th, Friday the 21st, Saturday the 22nd, Sunday the 23rd and 
the best card for the theme. So I trust 100% in my cards and I trust in the way I select my cards too. So I trust that what the majority of us need for this week, the cards will make their way to the top of the deck based on the way I choose my cards. Okay, we have these. So let's get them up here on my board. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the theme. We've got a real balance here of the decks. Okay, so this is Monday the 17th of August, and we have the rabbit card 16, and the rabbit says to make your move. Now the rabbit here feels a bit frightened or scared or uncertain, but especially frightened or fearful about making its move. So what we're being encouraged to do, especially on Monday, is to build up our courage to move through our fear or our anxiety and make our move and do what we need to do. This is an action card, but we, we might feel paralyzed by fear. So let's build our courage so we have to find our courage to make our move. This is Tuesday the 18th of August. We have card 44, the wolf, and it says instincts, moon, cycles, flow, and trust. This is about um, the phases and cycles that we move through in our life. And we've been encouraged, on, especially on Tuesday, to trust in the flow and the movement and the changes that take place with those cycles and phases that we go through. We've been encouraged on Tuesday to trust our instincts and keep moving with the flow, the flow and what that flow means for us. Now this is Wednesday the 19th of August. We have card 51 called Temple of Maya. It says manifestation, revelation and purpose. This card brings structure. It brings something real, something tangible, something physical to the cards, to the table really. So this can talk about a building of some significance or changes in the home. But whatever this structure is, it could be a physical structure, it might be a structure that we find in our life, a structure we feel in ourselves, a structure in our, with our schedule, for example. Whatever this structure is, it feels like it's going to contribute to helping us feel a deeper sense of purpose and meaning in our life. So there's something deeper that's coming, there's something deeper in play here, rather than just the things that we feel um, that are in good structure or feel nice and solid in our lives at this time. There is something purposeful about that representation of structure if you like or what that structure represents this is Thursday the 20th of August and we have our friend card 30 the Black Panther and the Black Panther says to find acceptance so on Thursday we've been encouraged to find a way to accept what's happened in our life to accept how things are to accept the past to accept our own mistakes or even our own kind of regrets from the past. So how can we find acceptance? Because acceptance is, will be what helps us heal. Acceptance will be what helps us move forward and move on from things that we, I, we feel bogged down by or pressured by or feel unable to move past. So acceptance, what do we need to accept and what are we struggling to accept? Maybe worth looking at too on Thursday. So this is Friday the 21st of August. Oh, we have the frog, card 34, and the frog says to cleanse your environment. Cleanse your environment. So this is a clearing and a purging um, on the inside and the out. So our inner environment and our outer environment. So we've been encouraged to look at what needs clearing or spring cleaning or purging. Um, what feels toxic in our life that we may benefit from looking at uh, clearing or purging or shifting on some level on Friday. Some of us may feel inspired to do a deep clean in places of our life, parts of our life. 
Now this is Saturday, the 22nd of August. Oh yay, we have the fire, the Air Dragon card 27 and the Air Dragon says your mind is powerful. So on Saturday is going to be a great day to work with the power of our mind, to get focused, determined, disciplined, use our self-control, learn a new skill, um, welcome in some new creative ideas or dreams or plans or ambitions and really work with the, our mental power on Saturday. So it's a great time to um, maybe have a brainstorm or things like this with other people to really get uh, connected on a mental level to help give us the clarity and the focus that we need in moving forward or getting something off the ground. This is Sunday the 23rd of August. Oh, it's so warm in here. So I'm really surprised I'm standing here in the sun in the middle of winter. We had a big dump of snow last week. And the sun is so warm. It's so warm it's melting my blue tack. So anyway, we have a featured card for Sunday. It's the turtle and it has further instructions here which say to take the bottom card from the deck which is this, the sea dragon. So let's pop... Uh, we'll just lift that up for a little bit and I'll pop that here. These two have come up together for a reason for Sunday. So let's look at them separately and then we'll look at their relationship together. So Turtle Dreaming, card 45. It's a serious clarification, concentrate and specific. So this card has attitude and the turtle reminds us to get serious. It's time to stop making excuses, stop putting things off and get serious and focused about where we want to go and what we want to do. The turtle is carrying a dream catcher on his back, so he's reminding us to carry our dreams with us, to get serious about our dreams and our goals and what we want to achieve in our life. This card is card 18 called the Sea Dragon, and it says be gentle with yourself. <laughs> so there's a gentleness coming in here and there's a fragility. So there's a feeling here of feeling a bit fragile, maybe a bit delicate, maybe a bit vulnerable on Sunday. <laughs> but we've been encouraged through the combination of these cards to not let that fragility, the vulnerability, to hold us back. Or to keep us going around and around in circles. We can use the gentleness that we feel to get serious and get motivated and get focused on what we need to do moving forward now. Coming off the back of this card for Saturday, this will probably set us up for a great potentially focused day on, on Sunday. But we'll have to be careful that we don't let ourselves just kind of go round and round in circles. I'm seeing the sea dragon here like in a fish tank and it just swimming around in circles. But if we can use the guidance of the turtle here to get serious and get focused, then we can actually break through that that um, circling pattern, circulating pattern, and um, allow ourselves to move forward. So there's a, a strong mindset here. So sad, the weekend is very much about our mental state. There is a strong state of mind coming through, um, and the rest is quite flowing. Um, we may feel a bit uncertain about make taking action on Monday but I really feel a strong incentive to make our move to move with the changes there's a great sense of purpose here for Wednesday acceptance and clearing and then strong mental energy for the weekend so this card's our theme it'll help bring these days together and help us see the bigger picture for this week ahead Ooh, gooey ah our card is card two card two called prayer and it says ask help answers and improvement so this is about asking for help if we need it this week to don't feel we have to do everything ourselves and if we can spread the load or share the load then we are being encouraged to ask don't think of others as being mind readers but let's ask for the help that we need if we need it this is also about our requests for improvement have been heard. So things feel like they're on the improve this week. 
if we're open to it. So let's allow help in, let's allow ourselves to help ourselves um, so that we can improve areas of our life that need improving. Okay, interesting, interesting. So um, I did do a support video last week, just a f actually it was on the weekend, <laughs> um, just a few days ago, if you're watching this on Monday, on Saturday. Um, and I talked quite a lot about our mind and uh, this has also come up in the current energy report that I wrote this morning and it's also coming up in the reading for the week so I feel even though our theme is about asking for help and things improving in our life I really feel that there is a strong um, kind of mental shift that's taking place that we're being encouraged to work with so really practicing our self-discipline staying focused being efficient with how we use our energy and how we use our time and really focusing on finding the courage that we need to push through fear and to help um, when we feel courageous and confident then we also feel clear clearer and more clarity so I feel like there's a lot of this kind of coming in this week that's very much focused around our mind so we may find it helpful really to get on track mentally and make sure our mental state our thoughts are actually supporting us and not pulling us back or holding us down or keeping us small so instead of feeling fear like we might feel on Monday with the rabbit and we might feel frightened and scared and um, overthinking you know this change or overthinking what we need to do but we've been encouraged to just breathe through it build our courage and make our move so there is an action here so we've been encouraged to kind of dart like the rabbit and make our move instead of feel, being paralyzed by fear so if we start the week paralyzed by fear we may find that we're kind of dragging our feet this week but if we can start our week by recognizing our fear noticing that hey I feel paralyzed in this situation what can I do about it work with our breathing build our courage and push through and make our move I really feel we'll be a step ahead this week so see how you go with the start of the week and um, see how that flows through for the rest of the week for you so thanks so much for connecting um, if you want to learn more about me and the work I do at Temple of Balance please visit templeofbalance.com.au um, if you would like to support my work then please have a look on my website there are a lot of resources a lot of different tools that I've created over the last 15 years that you may find helpful so thank you so much um, if you've uh, enjoyed the reading and you want to learn more about my cards that I've used you can learn more about either deck on my website at templeofbalance.com.au as well. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you want to connect more privately, please send us a message through our website. Sorry about the funny angle today. I'm actually taller than my tripod <laughs> and the ground is very wet because we've had a few days of rain. So it's just a matter of standing up today and this is camera height and this is my height <laughs> so I'm a fairly tall person so um, it's just a funny angle for today but I really wanted to be outside so thank you so much for connecting have a fabulous week happy birthday to anyone who's celebrating a birthday or an anniversary or a milestone this coming week um, I've got a few things coming up we've got our pillar of light private healing event which happens once a month it's happening tomorrow in our private Facebook group. So I look forward to connecting with you then. Um, and then I've got other various things like my online private art students this week. I've got some drawings to focus on. And um, I want to also get my ceramics finished so I can start getting the kiln on next weekend. So there's quite a lot happening as always. So keep an eye out on my social media pages. Come straight to the page. If you aren't, so haven't seen my stuff for a while, I get so many messages from people saying, welcome back. And it's like, okay, I haven't not been here pretty much every day since 2009. So um, 11 years, pretty much every day I've been here. I haven't left for very long and there's at least always been scheduled posts, even if I am away for a day or two. So if you find yourself saying to me, welcome back, 
I should probably say it to you because I haven't actually gone anywhere. So it just shows how much Facebook screens and chooses what you do and don't see in your news feed. So please don't rely on Facebook's news feed to show you everything because it doesn't. It shows you what it thinks you want and what it wants you to see. So the power is in our hands though because we can go straight to the pages that we love and catch up with what's been going on directly. So don't underestimate your power and ability to go to the search bar, type in Temple of Balance and go to the page directly and catch up on any videos that I've done or any posts that I've shared or any thoughts or blogs that I've written. Um, so they are there every day, several a day on my pages and groups on Facebook and also on Instagram. So um, please come back and check on the page directly if you are missing if you're missing them. So thanks for connecting. Have a great week, and I will see you throughout the week. So um, namaste, unless you're watching on YouTube, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now. <laughs>